last time on Of Dyson Dens. Slam it open. quietly open the door. Okay, roll room. stealth then. Nat 20! The door makes not a whisper, <laughs> not a sound. You also see two creatures kind of just milling about. They're zombies! Okay, why don't you roll a stealth on that? Five. I rolled a two and a three. So you, you beat it. You might realize that that armor looks a lot like the armor that the people in the town were wearing. Uh oh. Okay, let's open the nearest one. Uh, I'm sorry, were we just in a room with a bunch of wood shards in a place that has a bunch of vampires <laughs> in it? <laughs> <laughs> have some wood shards, thank you very much. The back wall of this room is filled with dirt. If you recall, vampires are tied to their grave soil. Uh, what I can tell you is that one area of the dirt seems a little more raised than some of the other areas. Now, I'm a cowboy, and we've established that I don't have too many boundaries. What if we turn the dirt into mud? Oh, wait, you're a horse. You, yeah, <laughs> you can go, go for fucking days. All right. <laughs> okay, do it. You can okay. see that you've kind of washed clean another chest. <laughs> All right, Rogue, here you go. You people are animals. There are more doors that way. One does not well, possibly walk towards more doors. Damn it! I'm out of the, I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> Fuck this game. Now that our heroes have found it's better to be pissed off than pissed on, they move ever deeper into the castle. Will they find the source of the vampire spawn? Find out now on Of Dice and Den's Fog Over Blackpool. So do you continue down the hall direction you were already going, or do you go down that little side hall? Um, does the side, okay, I'm sorry, the side hall goes down and it looks like it turns a corner? Well, where you're end? standing, if you're facing west, the next thing you see on your right is the hallway, Uh-huh. and then the, the hallway you're in continues up as well. The hallway to the right, though, does it, can I see the end of it, or does it turn? Not from where you're standing. <coughs> is it because, because it's dark? The, well, partly, but also because the corner of the wall. Okay, thank you're you. You're not directly in front of the hallway. You're okay, I'm going to be in direct. I'm going to move directly in front of the hallway. All right. And they get attacked, probably. And then you see the end of that little hallway. It's not very long, only about 30 feet. And there's a door on your right. I want to check that out. All right. You move to the door. Mm -hmm. I'm going to listen. Uh, 15. You hear some shuffling. Mm, more shuffling, guys. Mm. I make sure my wand is at the ready. Oh, wait, is the door open? No. No, we just hear shuffling. Okay, um, I can roll for stealth and crack it open and see what I see. Do it. Let me roll for stealth first <laughs> before I open it to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 16? Okay. Um, okay, so I'll uh, crack it open. Okay, you crack it open, and you see... Oh, no, come back! I lost the thing. Uh, you see... Three long dining tables are lined up parallel to each other. Ooh. Each one is adorned with a black tablecloth and golden candlesticks. The candles have burned down to the base, and winding streams of wax flow down the golden shaft and stain the black cloth. Every chair is perfectly situated. The room looks like it, it is set to take in guests for a dinner. A dinner that will uh, never uh, happen. Also, you see another one of them ghoulies wandering around the room. They're going to try and eat us, guys. <coughs> so um. there, there's one vampire thing walking around? Yes, sir. Yeah, let me tell you about it. So, <laughs> there's, a, there's, there's a bunch of weird dining tables and it looks like 
I don't know if they're magic or not, but it looks like maybe this whole setup is like waiting for something to happen. There's there's a ghoulie walking around, but I'm not sure if that's the only one because this is a pretty weird room. <laughs> so do we kill the ghoulie or do we move on quietly? We kill the ghoulie. Of course we kill the ghoulie. What kind of... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> What's my alignment again? <laughs> <laughs> I think that should be the title of the podcast. You're all some form of good, I think. I Neutral am. good. Yeah, but they're ghoulies. Yeah. Neutral good, I think? No, so lawful. Then... You're lawful. You're a soldier. I'm lawful neutral, that's right. I'm also a no neutral good. Oh, wow. With a face sponsor, so we'll just go with that. Um... Well, they're obviously dead, and so they were living at one point, so we just need to put them out of their misery. Exactly. Plus, they could be guarding magical artifacts that I need to collect, Fair like enough. Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta catch them all! Exactly. Disney wand! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Initiative? Yep. Did you guys want to try to do a group stealth again, or? I got an 11. Or do you want to just bust in because there's one of them? Let's I bust think let's in. just bust in. Because I also fucked up my stealth. Yeah. And I'm going to stay still... in the doorway. I, I have a 7. Yeah, Grin is already stealthed. And there's only so, one of them. And, and you're I first. A, and I want a full turn. So, so. Grin gets a... Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. She might take him out in one hit. She yeah. almost did last time. <laughs> All right. I'm going to shoot it. Shoot it. Oh, Shoot I got a twenty. I got a natural like twenty. Oh, what, what? Well Let's see what you do. A critical <laughs> hit deck for players. Player. player. With sneak attack, if that makes a difference. Grin's totally a player. And you were doing a ranged attack, right? Uh huh. So sneak attack. You sniped him. Ella shot him. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to shuffle Where's you. Where's the pea corner? <coughs> Back Where's there. Where's the pea chest? <laughs> yeah, on the... <laughs> All right. Navi, I never thought you'd like peeing on people's chests. Let's see what ah! Grin did. Uh, what is it? It's, it's bludgeoning? Uh, piercing, so piercing. the second one. Piercing. Ooh, maximum damage. Shoulder jab. What does that mean? <laughs> shoulder jab? Shoulder jab is what it's called. So you shoot him in the shoulder. You do the max damage you could do. Without rolling? Yep, no rolling, just what is your max damage? Oh, um, Damn, that girl. would be, That would include uh, this, the sneak attack roll. Oh, it's not just double what you roll? No. Um, no, that's because we did the card, and the card said just max damage. Okay, um... So that would be the double roll, but the but max of that. Yeah. Okay, if so, you're doing um, a crit, 15. 15? Dang, girl. So, you see the... Bolt, leave your crossbow, and it just hits the part of the head that makes the head explode. But because it's already dead, it doesn't explode. But like, it's one of its eyes pops out. It loses its teeth. You can see some of its brains come out its nose, and it looks at you and goes, and it starts moving towards you. Oh. <coughs> well, I know it's not my turn next because I. So really you did some significant damage. Let's not out. Is it bloodied? <laughs> uh, if we were playing for you, for sure. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Goober. You, it, it lost most of its face and brains. Yeah. Uh, Fiznik. All right. Oh, uh, nineteen plus six is twenty-five. Sure. To hit. And uh, it's a, it's a ten damage. All right, and you're doing the Eldritch Blast or the other one? The well, it's arc or what is it called? Arcane Blast. It, oh, it's it, the it upgraded Eldritch Blast. Is that what it is? It, yeah, Agonizing Blast. Ah. It adds my Charisma modifier to my Eldritch Blast. Got it. Okay. Okay. Got it. <laughs> All right, so the green light leaves your hands, as it always does. Yes. Flies across the the dining room, alighting some of the candles that are sitting there. 
and face. gets him right in the face. He glows green, and the rest of his head just explodes. And it's Avada dead. Kedavra, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, the room is clear. And with that, J.K. Rowling sues your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Copyright Infringement Podcast <laughs> 2020, <laughs> where we teach you how to how the common or yeah the common usage license is your friend. Mm-hmm. So the room is clear. What do you do now? Uh, is there any? Oh, so there's the tables, and there's like silverware and plates and shit. Yeah. Is any of it? The candles, the, the candelabras, they look pretty nice. I'm going to look for chests and anything hanging on the walls. I just already did. Oh, dang. Uh, not, nothing that seems like it's worth anything. The most I'm expensive check looking the walls. stuff are going to be the candelabras. Okay, well, you guys fight over those. I'm going to look at the walls, okay. see if there's any... Stuff that looks like it might be a door. It feels like brick so far. Like Doom style, like. <laughs> Just, mm, 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 mm. You circle the whole room, and nothing happens. Okay. Is there any writing anywhere? Uh, the bottom of the candlestick stay made in China. Oh. Fascistas <laughs> China. <laughs> I, I'm going to go to the head of one of the tables. Okay. And sit down okay. like a boss. All right. At the head of a table. Okay, let's let's roll to see how cool you're being. You have to steep your fingers. Roll performance. Just the right way. Roll performance. Okay. What's my performance check? <laughs> We're gonna do this. Uh, performance is at a plus four. Nice. Oh, nat 20. Okay, so guys, as tiny as he is, he looks really He fun. looks like a bass. Out of nowhere, he's already smoking a cigar. Yeah. <laughs> he's got these, like, Ray-Bans on. <laughs> His twisty mustache is on point. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Thank you. Now what? Next room, I guess. Yeah. Um, you know what? I'm going to perception this room really fast, just like in case I miss anything. That's fifteen. There are still three candelabras on the table. Meh, don't care. I take all of them. Okay. okay. I don't want to get it twisted. Which of these rooms is a fizzy lifting drinks? <laughs> well, there were a couple towers the back in tour. there were a couple towers back in the room you came from. <sighs> so I mean, you could go there. Right. No, it's, I want. I'd rather kill a couple a couple vampires. I guess. All right. <laughs> Vampire dust is an aphrodisiac, so. Mm. <laughs> like rhino horn. Yep. But it's ground up vampires. <laughs> Yeah. Sparkly dust. Yep. Very shiny. So you guys are back basically to the intersection of the hallway. And straight ahead where you were where you would have walked if you had just kept going down the hall, there's a door both to your right and to your left across from each other. So north and south. Um I will check uh I can I can roll for stealth and see if the if the south door is is locked or not and crack it open if it isn't. Sure. Uh, seventeen. It is not locked. Okay, I'll crack it open. What is that? Mm, nothing. Okay. Uh, you crack it open, and you see. You see... A 
What's my D2 if you need to know? Oh, nice. Uh, you see uh, what was probably another bedroom, but there are no beds. There's a pile of wooden debris in the corner and three piles of dirt. Uh-oh. Remember uh, when I said, let's just burn the thing to the ground? I'm starting to think that was a good idea. Um... <laughs> well, I have an extra move. I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm, sneak gonna... In, I'm gonna sneak in closer and do, like, a, a perception check near the dirt piles, maybe. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, I should really memorize that, what the heck. Uh, 14? <laughs> uh, they all look to have been recently disturbed. You're disturbed. But, but full, possibly? Possibly. Boy. It's always possible. Um, what I'm going to do it is, is... It is midday, if you recall. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to shoot one of them with my bow and arrow. Are you going to back away from the dirt piles first? Or are you yeah. Just in the middle of the room? I'm going to do it near the door. Okay. So you've got a dirt pile to your right, a dirt pile directly ahead, and another dirt pile kind of forward and to your left. This is a kind of an L-shaped room, so an upside I'll do down the shaped one L. In front of me. Okay. Uh, fifteen. You hear it thunk, but it doesn't sound like wood. And the soil starts to move. Uh-huh. Ew. I'm gonna hide behind the door. But go ahead and do your damage. Oh, wait. Uh, that is seven. All right. And I you think that maybe you didn't get a full hit on it because of the dirt? But you, uh, you definitely hit something soft. Uh, I would say after that, you see one of the <clears throat> same-looking nasty creatures sit up and screech, and the other two two dirt piles also disturb and they sit up. And let's roll initiative. Mm. And the one straight ahead is a bit tattered. You're all kind of at the doorway. So you might have to dance around each other to get through if you need to do any melee attacks. Grins at the doorway. That might be rough. <laughs> well, I'm tucked behind it, right? Okay. Because I hid after I shot. Oh, that's right. You did hide. That's a good point. I forgot yeah. we can do that. Um, I'm uh, guessing that Navi is probably at the door. Uh-huh. Because that's where she would be as a soldier, tactically oh. speaking. And then we'll put Elishana next to you. Behind you, Fiznik. Uh, we'll also be a bit behind you. And then, yeah, I guess the rest of you would probably stand back because you're more ranged anyway. The one furthest, those one, two, three, four, five, six, gets right into Navia's face. Okay. And attempts to claw at you. <clears throat> Fast zombies. Hmm. <laughs> There are more vampires and zombies, you're thinking now. Uh, it tries to grab you and just gets his hand on that doorknob. Hmm. And then the second one gets next to him. That's the one that was slightly hurt. Tries to kind of go sideways at you. And that's going to be a 22. Right. And he's going to try to grapple. All right. So that's a strength check? Yep. Or an athletics? Athletics. Oh, fuck me. Uh, 13. Well, I rolled a 5. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the other one puts his hand on top of the doorknob, too. And they both have this look, and they're like kind of like looking at each other, and then they both pull their hands away. They, You think there might have been a moment there, but you're not <laughs> sure. And I don't think they know either. But then it's... Elishana's turn. Okay. 
as much as I ship them, uh -huh. I'm going to Sacred Flame the closest one. <coughs> so they have to save. And I guess it's a deck save. Wait, well, it's should, a, no, I roll the save. You don't need to roll. Oh. Don't I have to roll something? If it's a if, if it's a save, I roll it. They're trying to get out of the way. Oh, so what is it? What, what kind of save? Oh, is it? DC twelve saving. What was it? Was it a dex? Dex. Okay. So what are you saving against? Your your yeah your DC. Okay, twelve. They save. Did they take half damage on a successful save? No bonus for cover on save. Doesn't save. Okay. okay. Some nope. some abilities, like especially AOE abilities. Nope. Yeah, that's her cantrip. That's why it doesn't have Oh, it. gotcha. Try not to use all my spells. That's fair. Oh, all right, Navia. All right, so there's two near me and one away from me. Um, hmm. Whichever one is on my right-hand side, I'm going to swing with my sword. Okay. Get him. Fuck's We're sake. doing so bad now. <laughs> I don't suppose a 10 hits him. No, it does not. Yeah. All right, well, that die is fired. <laughs> I'll do that one. Okay. Uh... Oh, God. I rolled the same <laughs> goddamn thing. Maybe it'll be better. If... Oh. Six. <laughs> it's so... a really satisfying sound, though. So the one, the one to the right um, can't really get to the doorway because the other two are in it. So it jumps up and climbs on the ceiling. Oh, God. And attacks you through the doorway from the ceiling. Ugh. For fuck's sake. Tries, still tries to grab you. Uh, that's a... I don't think that's going to hit. That's a 15. 16. <sighs> 16 to hit me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it tries to grab you, and it just... It sucks. It's upside down. It's a little... A little bit, you know, confused about what's happening. It just doesn't quite get purchase. Uh, that makes it Grin's turn. Uh, I'll shoot at the one I shot before. All right. That's the one on the ceiling now. Right? Oh, no, that's a different one. Okay. Thank you, well, With which one? Twelve. Twelve? It... When you try to shoot at it, because it's a little bit off to the side of the doorway, your arrow, your uh, bolt kind of bounces off the door jam and just flies into the room, doing not much of anything. Okay, I'm gonna hide. <laughs> Good plan. Bye, B. <laughs> what was it that Drew always said? One, two, what? three, four. No, no. Oh. When he would, like, disappear. I don't remember. I think he was just kept saying the spell that let him disappear. Uh, Fiznik. <coughs> so there are three vampires at the door. All up in my business. All up in Navia's business. Okay, well, the one I'm closest to, I let some badass magic bolt to the face. Actually, you know what? I'm listening. I'm going to change up my magic bolt to the face oh. with a necrotic bolt to the face. Ooh, interesting. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to use Chill Touch. Okay. For kicks and grins. And, you know, potentially half the damage of Eldritch Blast, but whatever. Uh, 17, what's 17 plus 6? That will be 23. I assume that's enough. That does hit. Alright. <laughs> and... So you, sh yep, you shoot out a spray of necrotic damage. For 5. And you can tell that it was not quite that effective. But yet... They have disadvantage on attacks against me. <laughs> <laughs> that particular one. Yeah. Okie dokie. And that's just you or anyone? Uh, target can't regain hit points 
and undead have disadvantage attacks versus me okay. until my next turn. Thank you for listening to episode 11 of Of Dice and Dens. The last few uh, episodes have been pretty combat heavy, so I'm hoping that's good for those who like to listen to real play podcasts and hear the actual combat, not just role play. Uh, I think it's interesting for some of the new folks that are playing the game with me to experience that. Jay's learning a lot about how to do these kinds of things and as a bard he's kind of a magic user and I don't think he's used to that so it's kind of fun to have him figure things out uh, we're playing the module fog over blackpool which I got off of dmsguild.com it was written by Seth Tomlinson you can get links to that or any other items I'm using in the podcast on the resources page of odndpodcast.com Things like the cards and this module, the X split that I'm using to record, that kind of stuff. All, all that's linked on there, so check it out. ODNDpodcast.com again. You can find us on Twitter at ODNDpod. That's been a trip. I was never really all that involved in Twitter. I signed up when it first started. I almost never used it. I created this ODND account, started talking to other tabletop and dnd folks and it's kind of it's kind of cool to see what's out there and what people are doing i'm kind of getting in the thick of it and it's pretty fun so please check it out you know i'm all, i'm on there quite often you know so if you want to reach out send me a tweet you can also find me on facebook at odnd podcast you can email us at odndpod at gmail.com uh, make sure you visit our podcast network at StolenDress.com. You can find podcasts like Comedy on Vinyl, where Jay brings in guests and they talk about Comedy on Vinyl records. You can check out Dispatches from Fort Awesome, which is a news radio podcast. What's with you, Scooby-Doo? Nick Robes, he talks about Scooby-Doo. The Dan J's Comedy Hour podcast, where Jay and I just kind of shoot the shit and talk about stuff we did as teenagers. The uh, hosts with their own Picard podcast for the new Picard show we've got a second episode coming out where we talk about the full trailer that released at uh, Comic Con check it out all that stuff's really cool uh, again all the music in this is uh, by Kevin McLeod at Incompetech.com and licensed under Creative Commons Attribution License let's get back to the battle and with that it makes it what's his name's turn mm-hmm mm -hmm. Well, I, I, <clears throat> I guess I will shoot it with my crossbow. Which one am I shooting? That's a good uh, question. A, B, or C? Mm, a, B, and C are at the doorway. A is a is at the top of the doorway, mm, upside down. I'll shoot that one because that one creeps me out. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> oh boy. Well. <laughs> well, I mean. Plus what again? Where the fuck am I? Son of a bitch. Plus four. Well, that's an eight. Uh... Uh, so you shoot your bow, bow uh -huh. and it hits the door jam, bounces mm -hmm. off. Looks like it's going to hit the guy. Yeah. But he manages to kind of get out of the way just in time. Damn it, Carl. <laughs> and it lands right next to Grin's crossbow bolt. Uh, and top of the order, the vampire is going to uh, try to hit Navi again. It's a large, large target to hit. And I'm like in the doorway blocking everybody yeah. else, which is basically where I want to be. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's what I'm here for. 22 to hit. Yep. Yeah. Okay, he's going to try to grab you. For fuck's sake. Uh, 12. Nine. All right. <laughs> So the other one's going to do the same thing. <coughs> so the first is the hit roll. Exactly the same roll. So 22 to hit. 20. Modify 20. And then grab you. Nope, doesn't get you. Sweet. They both try to grab you and they just they just cannot get Maybe They're like, scrabbling on my breastplate, yeah, on yeah, my shield. Yeah, it's just slippery and you're very, you know. I'll you got, scramble on your breastplate. Oh, hot. <laughs> just kind of dodging and weaving. Uh, and that makes it Eloshana's turn. 
I'm going to give Sanctuary, Sanctuary. to Navia. Okay. So anybody who wants to attack, wait, want to attack or target her must first make a save. Hmm. Doesn't protect verse area spells. Okay. So I don't think I have to do anything. What kind of save is it? Wisdom? DC 12, maybe? Yep, it's whatever your DC is. Okay. Is this what I have to roll against? Also, Jay, just as a reminder, you can do <clears> that <throat> bardic inspiration a <throat> certain number of times a day. Mm -hmm. That gives people a 1d6 on, oh, yeah. on skill or, or attack rolls. On whatever. Mm. At they the end of, yeah, you board. can do that during your turn. Uh, okay, so you did that on Navia. Ooh. Is that it so for that's, your turn? I don't have to do anything, it's just who people attack. Right, you've got kind of an, an aura. Yeah. Um. Protective aura. Alright, I guess I'm done. Okay, Navia. Alright, so I'm gonna attack the same one, the one on my right hand side. Okay. Oh, that's better. 17? Yes. Alright, 1d8 plus 4. It's probably too close quarters to do my hoof attack. Uh, eight slashing damage. And then it makes it the creature to your left's turn to okay. attack you. Actually, no, wait. Yeah, because he's on the ceiling. All right. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Not even close. <clears throat> And that makes it Grin's turn again. I'm gonna shoot the same one. That was the one. That wasn't the one on the ceiling, right? It was the one. Yeah. What, the one on the ceiling? Okay. Uh, 11. Well, I'm gonna hide. Okay. <laughs> Do you get advantage if you're rolling when you have. Because if you're hidden, you would have an advantage on it. Is that a thing that you have? Or how does that work? I mean, I'm in stealth, so I don't know. Yeah. Is it is it just if you've got... Well, because you're a rogue, right? Yeah. So if you have... Isn't isn't your... You get advantage if you have uh, one of the... Uh, your party members within five feet of the enemy? Yeah. That's, that's what, what you were doing. Yeah, that's what Maya has. No, it doesn't say anything about that. Maybe your particular class of it. She might be a different class from what you were playing. Maybe. Uh, we can check that later. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, we'll switch back to Eldritch Blast because it didn't. <laughs> Chilling Touch was just neat. Uh, let's see, 19 plus 6. Oh, oh yeah. That hits. Of course she is. Yeah. And <laughs> then... Eight damage. Nice. Which one were you attacking again? The, the one, one closest to me. You can tell that uh, that attack definitely took a bit of skin away with it. Nice. Gross. This is bone showing. No. Must, you know, kind of deteriorated muscles. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, what's his name? Should I even bother? Uh, let's see. Here we go. Same. Swell. What you know, your... if you do... Think about my spell again. You've got Tasha's hideous laughter. Mm. If you succeed with that on the one on the ceiling, he's gonna <laughs> fall to the floor and take damage. Nice. Mm. That would be great. Sure. Let's, let's, let's give that a shot should say it's probably a save on my part does it say that i, thought, I think it did but uh, read it again one creature with intellect of less than four save or fall prone incapacitated can't stand save end of each turn or if taking damage saving throw is will that makes okay. sense okay so i have to do a will save for that bad boy that is not their strong suit is it? um so at the top of your spell sheet there should be a dc save like a DC number, probably like 12, 13, something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What number is That's what I have to beat. What number is that? 13. 13. I not won that one. Oh, shit. Oh. Wait, that was a magic spell. 
There's a card for that. Oh, it only applies if it was cold damage, which it wasn't. What? I'll draw another card. No, that's how it works. Okay. He got lucky this time. He just gets, he just fails. So, all of a sudden, you have this laugh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And as it's <laughs> laughing, it falls to the ground, taking 1d10 damage. Nice. That's pretty good damage. Uh, and now it's now every round I have to roll a save, or he's gonna continue laughing. No. <laughs> Wait, what did what joke did you tell? Yeah, you have to tell. What did you what did you say to make it laugh so hard? Oh, I I said ask me if I'm a tree, and and it said are you a tree? And I said no, and then I laughed. And then it just <laughs> collapsed. Just collapsed. <laughs> Whatever this spell comes up. Four year olds. I think that is, of... that is that was Mike's favorite joke of all time, and he kept laughing at that as a twenty something mm-hmm. because <laughs> that was Mike's style. Yeah. Oh my god. I think of the uh, funny world's funniest joke sketch from Monty Python. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so now you've got uh, uh, vampire on the ground just cracking up, and the two other are like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> uh, and it wasn't even funny. So <laughs> we nearly hit them, and then it attacks Navia. How long does your spell last it, for her? It doesn't say a time limit. It, on the right hand side, if it doesn't have one. In oh, the I see. Sanctuary. Time. Oh, duration. One minute. Oh, so oh, shoot. 60, ra- 60 rounds. No. 60 rounds? Wow. Two vampires? <laughs> is that right? No. Do va- 10 rounds. Each yes. round is six seconds. Sorry. <laughs> Do vampires, um, are they like cartoon weasels? Yes. <laughs> their soul starts going out yeah. of their body. And they Stop like... laughing! <laughs> Alright. So that's a... Uh... 26 to hit. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> super, super hits. Okay. Uh, did you, did you, did you, and what, what did your spell do? It was like half damage or something? No, you just... You can't attack her oh. until you make a save. Oh, so I have to save first. And it's a wisdom yeah. save? Yes. Well, Unless it's an area spell. <clears throat> well, he got 16 on the save, so he hit. Yeah. Sorry. It's no, okay. I'm over it. So he's going to try to grab you. That's what they do, man. 16? No. No, no, no. 20. Modified 20. Nice. 22. Fight ah. me. So now you are grappled. Grabbed. Grappled. Grabbed. And then how do I get out of a grab? Strength. Athletics. Yeah, athletics or dexterity to rip free on your turn. But that's your action. But I can't attack. It's not time, baby. But I think after you break a grapple, you can move five feet away or something like that. So oh, you can nice. kind of break free of the threatened area. Uh, that makes it the other one's turn. And it's gonna bite you because you're grappled. Oh, cool. Cool. That's cool. And <laughs> that's a 12 to hit. <laughs> yeah, no. The grapple doesn't do any damage, right? No. Okay. I'm doing it in place of doing damage. I see. Okay, just checking. Uh, and that makes it Elishana's turn. All right, I'm going to hit the one grappling her with a sacred flame. Is that the one that I've already damaged, or is that the other one? Uh, they've all been damaged. Oh, he okay. makes a save. There was the one that was on my oh. right-hand side that I attacked and did X number yes. of damage. Is that the one who's grabbing me? Yep. If okay. he's grabbing, does he have to do um, disadvantage? Because <laughs> he's already doing something? Nope. What? That's one of their skills. Like, uh... That's on a, well, it's a wisdom save? Is that what you're doing? Uh, sacred flame, <coughs> dex save. Dex save, okay. That's a 14 to save? He does not get hit. Ugh, I'm not helping at all. Navia? Yeah. So just athletics, get out? Yeah. 14. You break free. Woohoo! You grab your arm out of his closet and say, knock it off! And so I can move away, you said? 
Yeah. Or you can stay there and take the beating. I'm going to stay there because if I move, I'm going to... These guys are going to be exposed. Yeah. Okay. The one on the ground's laughing. Let's see if he can save. Nope. So he continues laughing. And now it is Grin's turn. No, oh, I... Uh, I'm going to shoot the one on the ceiling. Oh, no, he it is, fell, right? Yeah, he's now laughing his ass off on the ground. I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> Fair. I'll give you advantage on that. I think that's part of, you know, part and parcel of that, right? Does that mean I can roll two? Yep. Yep, I'll take the high. That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I take the higher one, right? Yep. yep. Thank goodness. So that's uh, 22. Damn. Woo. Dang, yo. Um, ten. So your crossbow bolt flies past Navia between the two other vampires and gets it gets the last one right in the head. And in its last breath, it goes, "Wait, what?" And it slumps down dead. Well, I'm gonna hide. Um. Behind the door jam again. All right. <laughs> As is your want. Little <laughs> sneaky halfling rogue. <laughs> All right, Fiznik. There are now just the two at the doorway. Isn't that what Bilbo is? What, a halfling? A halfling yeah. rogue, because he's a butler. Yeah. yeah, basically, yeah. I should just continue to ignore you every time you say my name for the rest of the episode. Yeah, right? <laughs> Why are you being a four-year-old? <laughs> or a cat? <laughs> a four-year-old or a cat, A right. four-year-old cat. Oh, son of a bitch. Then, so Jeff does one? nothing? <laughs> just, just get your card. Just... <laughs> <laughs> what were you trying to do? Cast a spell? Uh, yes. Full damage? Yep, some uh, Eldritch Blast, but no. Who wants I to had... check a card? <laughs> so, spell? The bottom one. Off we go! You teleport ten feet in a direction randomly determined by the GM. Oh, no. Up is a direction. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. One, two. Does that be six? Eight, Eight around, and then up and down. That's how I'm going to do it, because I know there's like three dimensions that you go diagonal. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to okay. say up, so down, ten. or up. any of the eight cardinal directions around you. So we'll do... Got to make a things detail. complicated. Yeah, I'll say a detail. Yeah, but I have to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll make up, nine, and down, ten. Okay. How is he going to go... Oh, he's going to teleport into the dirt? It must be pretty deep dirt, though, if they can dig it out. Actually, he's still standing out in the hallway. He's going to the bridge, oh. maybe. Uh, so you teleport <laughs> right in between both of the vampires. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> so I just charge up my little body and pop right between them. <laughs> you hear, yeah, you all hear just a... <laughs> And you look over where Fiznik was, and he's gone. He's gone. Oh no, what, Fiznik! What's... And then you, then you hear another, <laughs> and he pops right between the vampires. <laughs> what's gnomish for yippee kaye, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> You're the gnome. You get to decide. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was interesting. Uh, what totally is meant to do that. Well, as far as any of us, like as far as, at least as far as I can tell. Because I don't know magic. Yeah, I purpose. thought you meant to. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Get out of there. Yippee-ki-yay. Yeah, no, he's like literally right in front of you. Yeah, I'm like, no, what I'm are saying. you doing, you idiot? <laughs> idiot, no. That's redundant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's his name? What's you doing? <sighs> I don't find that. How many of these things? Are any of them dead yet? Am I one of them. The one, the one that you made laugh died. Oh, yeah, all right. Well, then I fucking shoot. Where are the other two? Right in the doorway. All right. I'll shoot the one on the left, I guess. All right. Um, I'm just going to shoot them. It's much more fun to shoot things. 
Agreed. <clears throat> oh, all right. Um, boop, 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 boop. Where'd it go? 22? Oh, yeah. And mm, five total. Okay, you shoot off your crossbow. Mm -hmm. Is that what they're calling it these days? Fiznik is like, oh, crap, that is coming right at me. But mm. then, just as you think it's going right at you, you realize it's off to the left a little bit, goes right in the eye of that vampire, and it collapses to the ground. Dope. <laughs> no, I'm saying. No, I'm saying. <laughs> All right. And then that makes it the one that's left's turn. And caught off guard, <clears throat> it's going right down on Fiznik, oh, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and I don't have, like... Uh, okay. What is your... That's you going to be an 11, 11 to hit. Oof. Oof. I'm sorry. <laughs> misses? I, uh, he, he misses. Okay. So he's coming down at you, but I think just you're short... He's disoriented, his friends are dead, and just he's in his own head right now, and he just he just whiffs it right <laughs> and, above the top of your head. And didn't he just have a moment with one of the he, other he guys? He did, and dead. so Aww. so now he's like, he's just not sure what to do with his life. It's hard. It's a hard knock life being a vampire. It really is. Uh, Ilishana. What is Bardic Inspiration? Gives you an extra D6. D6. To damage or? So like say yeah, so like say you roll a twenty to do an intimidation check mm -hmm. and you roll like yeah. a five. It's skill checks and attacks, I believe. Or so then it, you just roll a D six, you get a three one. and you add that three. So you would get an eight. So it gives damage. you a potential yeah, or, so or to eight. whatever. To like oh, to like if you were doing an intimidation check. Okay. Yeah. So if you're like I you're right on that fringe that maybe one or two points could help or even wanna risk it for all six. But you can... Oh, you still have Bardic Inspiration? No, I used it. Oh, you just... can use your Bardic die after you've rolled, but it has to be before the DM determines whether or not it succeeds or not. Right. All right, and I'll try it. Sacred Flame again. Okay. Oh, that's right, it's the same. Fifteen. See, motherfucker... Goober and Lamp are pissy. I'm useless. Okay, can I walk in? Can I walk it? How far away am I? You're kind of like right behind Navia. Okay, I want to step out. Like, into the room. On the side. To the room on the... Like, through the doorway? Yeah. No, the vampire's in the doorway. And so oh. it's Fiznik. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, okay. I wasn't... Well, yeah, you're in the hall. Behind Navia. So she's in the Maybe way too. Maybe that's why I keep fucking up. <laughs> Maybe. Probably. Uh, uh, speaking of, can oh, I? What is skill check an action? I'll let you do it as a bonus. I want to <clears> check <throat> their. Was it nature to see what their nature or dungeoneering, whichever setting. Dungeoneering is we don't have thing anymore. Survival. Oh, survival. Yeah, that's a new one. Yeah, plus two to survival. There you go. Uh, 21. Uh, you find... So what are you trying to figure out? Their HP. Their hip? Six. Both of them? There's only one left. Oh. He's only got six points, guys. All right. <laughs> he looks like he's at about, you know, a third of his health. He's Am only I... got a third of his health. It's my turn now, right? Correct. Am I at any sort of disadvantage with Fiznik right there? No. I'm short. Twenty. You're tall. To hit. That hits. All right. That's, Yay! I'm gonna do. I'm doing this. Six. Six. Ward. Six. Six. One six, 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 four. Right? Yeah. Ooh. Twelve. So. Lance, can we? You take. What is it? You have an axe. It's a sword. You take your sword. Oh, that's right. That's right. A hundred bits with swords. You swing it down, and you kind of just take it at a bit of an angle, and just kind of slice him from shoulder to armpit. Jesus. And gore sprays all over Fiznik. Yeah. As he's at armpit oh. level. Oh. Yuck. <laughs> Goober. And that's the last one. Did you want to do anything more? 
in this room. Does anyone have alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll just do a perception check real quick. Okay. Uh, see if there's anything in the holes or around the room. Okay. Hey, what's his name? Tell me that joke again. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. You don't see anything of note. Ask me if I'm a tree. Are you a tree? No. <laughs> okay, I get okay, it. Okay, that is actually <laughs> <laughs> like, It's absurd, and that's why it's, it's funny. It's delightfully meta. If you propose the idea that this is a joke you're about to hear, and then it, becomes, it is that. Mike was a weird genius. I don't know what you're going to I don't know what to do about it. As our heroes discuss the oeuvre of anti-jokes, they grow ever closer to the potential source of the fog. Can they free the town of it or will they succumb to it as well? Find out next time on Of Dice and Dens, a D&D podcast. <laughs> <laughs>